I will use this panorama to add some artificial intelligence functions from the new Photoshop beta. We'll try them if they really use also in three dimensions. It's uh, easy to do something into a panorama when we have here the horizon. That's not so difficult, but what happens when we do it here below on this place? On this place and on this place and even in the air. You best choose a panorama where you have a lot of houses and also some green space where we can add some new pictures. Photoshop Beta has some new functions where we can add into images new objects or we can delete uh, parts of the images. We will see today how we can transform a panorama like this into a view like this. I added an airplane, a house, a church and a castle. And you can see the perspectives are right correct. So it's very impressive what we can do. First, let's see how we can install Photoshop Beta. So we have here all applications. Go on Beta application and there you can find Photoshop Beta. Install this Beta. And then we will see together what we can do in 360 degree photo panoramas. We can see here the lines from this 360 uh, shooting. The, the houses here go in this direction, then the houses here in this. That's quite the middle of the, the image. Now I will select the space here and I will implement a new house. We have to write that uh, in English. It's only English available, actually. Now the artificial intelligence calculates, imports a, a new house. It's quite fast. Now we have different alternatives. We can select between the alternatives. But what we can see that the, <coughs> the lines are uh, right. We see the here the three D uh, view, like uh, from the houses here next. So it's quite amazing what we can do. Now I try to implement the pool. I change a little bit the area. So I type in pool. And now let's see what we will have in this 3D perspective. So we have also three variants. We can see it's quite amazing as we are in a 3D uh, 360 view. So we can really use that for uh, panoramas. With the navigator we can see where's the horizon the middle line of this panorama. So now let's try to implement something here on this base. I will try to implement a church. We can see this church has the right size and also the right perspective. It's not the, like the pool or the house before when we look from the air. It's more from the front. I go back <coughs> to the main image and now I will try to add here a castle. So it's quite impressive. We have now a castle on this place. We can choose between different variants. I like the, the first one. We 
if we go back to the church we have also different variants now I try to implement an aircraft Also here what we can see, it's the right perspective from below, if we go back to the navigator. And we have also different uh, variants. So I will choose this one. Each time you generate a, a new uh, picture, it's different. It's not always the same. So you can uh, also play with that. If you have different um, layers, it's better to, to name them so that you can switch between the different add-ons we did. So in this view I have added a house, a church and an aircraft and also a castle. When we have finished we have to re reduce all this layer to one layer and now we can export the image and use it like a 360 view. You can download this panorama, you find the link into the description from my video. So thanks for watching, until the next time.